Hey folks, Briska with Glass Moon Gaming. Today we're watching our first Dream Theater reaction. We'll be doing a full album review of their Distance Over Time album, starting with Untethered Angel. Now, I'm a long, long time Dream Theater fan. I started listening to them in college back in around 94, 95, after the Awake album release, and I've been hooked ever since. I've seen them in concert too many times to count over the years, but I haven't seen them since the departure of the original drummer, Mike Portnoy. Now, I know there's a big controversy over the years over who's the better drummer, Portnoy or Mangini. Um, me, personally, I'm a Portnoy fan, but Mangini is a phenomenal drummer. I haven't listened to any of their albums since Mangini's been in the band um, with his original stuff that he did uh, with the band. And being a drummer myself, the inspiration for my, both my play style and my drum kit comes from various Portnoy kits over the years. I've yet to hear this album or their newest album, A View From Top Of The World. And my plan is I'm going to be reacting to both full albums in their entirety over the course of this channel. I hope you join me in our journey. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like on this video to show your support. Every like and subscription helps. And by all means, leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this song. Um, with that said, let's sit back, relax, and let's start our journey with Untethered Angel. Very typical Dream Theater opening. Um, odd time signature. I wasn't able to pick it up right off the bat. Uh, and instrumental. You can tell all these people are protégés on their on their uh, instruments. Um, Mangini's kit is very interesting. There's no way I could play it. He is, like I said, he's a phenomenal drummer and he's very technical in what he does and his ability to go back and forth on both sides playing open-handed and a traditional uh, play style and then just moving completely independent of each other with everything going on is just crazy. Um, all right, let's get back into it. I'm going to stop it right there to show uh, because I got a good picture of Mangini's set here. Now, to me, that just looks very uncomfortable to play. Um, I'm kind of short myself, but being able to reach some of that stuff and still be comfortable to me would be crazy. Um, having the hi hats, those high, that high, make my arms go absolutely insane. Um, Octobonds might be nice up there, but the other stuff, it's just so weird to me. But he can do it, and he's phenomenal. So more power to him. Uh, James Labrie voice. Um, there's been controversy over that, of course, over the years. Uh, I've always liked his voice. Uh, yeah, there's been some times when he's been rough, but he's always been the Dream Theater voice for me. Uh, I'll be waiting for the hate in the comments.
Uh, typical Dream Theater chorus, very straightforward. Um, vocals were phenomenal. Uh, all the playing was awesome. No complaints there. Are they in a barbecue? Yes, that appears to be a uh, type of barrel smoker. Um, I am a little bit of a smoker aficionado myself. I have a smoker out back and I love smoked meat. I don't have a barrel smoker though, but I think that's kind of interesting that they're just throwing in pictures of smoking in the middle of their video. I'm going to be honest, I haven't really been listening to any of the words. Um, typically, the, my first listen through of a Dream Theater song is listen to the music. Uh, on a second listen through, I'll come through and pick up the words. Uh, sometimes the songs actually have meaning and they interconnect. Um, who knows on this album? Uh, that'll be something we figure out. If anyone has any suggestions about that, uh, don't forget, you can put your comments below. Chorus is seems like it's definitely in a straightforward four four time. Um, some of the other song is definitely in four four, and then there's these odd time signatures, which I haven't quite figured out during the blind listen. Uh, it looks like we're getting down into either a breakdown. Hopefully, a Petrucci solo is going to be going on here soon. Ah, uh, let's find out. I always love those types of fills, by the way. No matter who does it. Uh oh, there's a Petrucci face. That could be being for a legendary Petrucci solo. Let's find out. All right, that always amazes me um, how technically they can hit those notes at the exact same time. And just be perfectly in sync with each other, even live. I mean, it's not, I won't say it's, I will never say it's easy to do in the studio, but you can get multiple takes in the studio to get it right. Live is a whole nother issue. And when they do things like the Dance of Eternity, where they have all those long strings of 30 second notes going together, it is just absolutely insane that all of them are completely on sync. I love it. Copyright claim for uh, letting these solos go. Here we go. 
know that syncopation stuff and that right together. Pretty good solo. I liked it. I liked how uh Petrucci and Rudis were in sync. The uh the solo together, the I guess it's not a solo, it'd be a duet, but they're playing the same notes. They might be octaves apart, but they're playing the same notes. I love it. Back into the chorus. I think we're in for an outro now. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to guess it's going to be like the rest of the song. A little bit of breakdown. It sound like they slowed down a little bit of halftime. Uh, we'll find out. Looks like that's it. All right. Well, that was Dream Theater's Untethered Angel. That was a good intro song for the album. I like the way that uh, came in, brought you right into the style of music that they have. Um, I said, I've never heard this album before. I haven't heard either of these two albums. So this will be a nice journey into the album. I hope you'll join me. Don't forget, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. I also stream on Twitch, usually every Monday and Tuesday. Um, link in the channel below. Link to the original video for this will also be below. Um, I hope to see you on our next adventure, on our next uh, journey into song, whether it be gaming, whether it be song, album review. Any suggestions, leave a comment in the section below. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.